Oh, you're kidding. That old place got burgled yesterday. There was a girl that Victoria chased off but never saw her face. Why that place? Not exactly flash, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Most robbers are chances, though. Not much luck, though, eh? Victoria getting it twice. Mm. Oh. Now then. You got me that car, Brad? It wasn't me. I wouldn't do that to Victoria. Holly, it didn't even cross my mind. Let's get Simon all over it. What? No, he hasn't got it in him. Of course he has. He has sent someone to threaten Victoria as a message to me. So this is my fault. Again. No, it is my fault for leaning into him, but I'll just call him off. No. No. Last time you did that, you ended up with a dirty needle in you. You're not going anywhere near him. Or I'll be right behind you, I swear. Look, I'll call the police myself. Don't care what happens. Don't be so stupid. Then promise me you'll leave it, Mum. Come on, babe. But Diane's gonna be waiting. Just tell him to go without me. But you don't know it was him. Adam, what genuine burglar messes around in a bedroom? They're in, they're out, they don't go snooping through your wardrobe. Well, maybe that's why girl robbers are rubbish. Is this a joke to you? No, I, I'm sorry. But I get why you're being paranoid. I do. But, baby, you've got to keep things in perspective. All right, just keep calm. Should have never pulled out that ID parade. Where are you going? I'm going to go tell Robert and Diane why you're blowing out court. We'll keep your phone on. OK. Take your time. I've been waiting outside ages. The phone was dead. Really bothered about what happened to me then? Yeah, of course I am. Victoria do that. Yeah. Smashed me against a wall. She was proper freaking. She didn't see me there. I made sure of that. Quick kick and I was out of there. So how do you explain them then? Horse did it. Right. <laughs> and now you've got to help me burn my clothes. But you'll be all over the news soon. Heard the police are putting up a million pound reward. Yeah, you're really funny. Like when you ran off and left me, that was really a joke. That was your idea. I told you it was stupid. Yeah, and trashing your pedo dad's house wasn't. You know what? Just do it on your own. Poor Victoria. Why didn't you text us last night? Because you were stressed enough as it is with Andy. And Vic didn't want to go over all the details again. You call the police, that's the main thing. What have we done to deserve this? As if Andy getting arrested wasn't enough. Adam, hang on here. Yeah. Sounds like Victoria could do with a treat. Oh, hi, Dad. <laughs> uh, I have the usual, please, Rodney. Some Priya. She's in a good mood for some reason. There you go. Tell her I'm sorry and we're all thinking about it. Cheers. Oh, we got burgled last night. Oh, no. She chased them off, though. Little Victoria. Give them the right pasting, apparently. Seriously? Yeah, by some girl. Bit pinned her up against the wall, ripped the top, that's all, but... Didn't see her face before she scarpered, so... Still, she's been incredibly brave to react so quickly. Thing is, after the van was robbed, she thinks it's personal, you know? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Just haven't got a clue how to make it better, though. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> 